we all know who Seth MacFarlane is, or at least, you know, most of us know who he is. Best known for creating and co-creating adult cartoons, Family Guy, American Dad, The Cleveland Show. Uh, he also was in a movie called A Million Ways to Die in the West, co-starring Sarah Silverman, Liam Neeson, Neil Patrick Harris, Giovanni Ribisi, Amanda Seyfried, and Charlize Theron. And so another thing, another piece of work of his that I thought was really great, and also many Seth MacFarlane fans and Family Guy fans who thought was really great, uh, was a comedy movie called Ted. Uh, he did two of them. The first one came out in 2012. The second one came out in 2015. Uh, the first one did a, a little bit better than the second one, and I actually thought it was better, in my opinion. Um, according to Web News Observer, now this is about, is there going to be a third one? Because, again, it's been seven years, so we're just cu curious to know, like, okay, is this it, or is there going to be more? Mike Johnson, who's an editor for the Web News Observer. The lonely youngster is longing for his teddy bear to come alive as a Christmas present, miracles, and all the things written on him. Every heartwarming family wishes to, to watch Ted, but obviously Ted isn't the whole story. McFarlane's first film and the directorial debut was far exceeding expectations, creating something genuine to which create a teddy bear alive, in which to create a teddy bear alive. It is genuinely beyond anyone's expectations, to be honest. Well, it has been five years since you last saw a talking Teddy. Ted 3 has yet to receive any official confirmation on information. Ted 3 is definitely within the cards. Here's everything we know about Ted 3 release date so far. Release date. Although Ted's 3 debut date, some of this is worded a little bit wrong, but I'm, I kind of get the gist of it, but I'm sure most of you understand, has yet to be confirmed. It has not been denied. Because Seth MacFarlane is involved in a mess, all of the necessary elements for the following season have yet to be arranged. They're talking about it like it's a... Uh, okay, I got you. Although an official launch date has not been announced, it is expected that it will be revealed soon. It is anticipated that it will be readily available in 2023 after the 12 months of 2012. The star is revealed in the last sections as well as the cast names and descriptions. It has not been confirmed officially ted three we have mark Wahlberg, jessica barth giovanni rabisi colton shires patrick warburton seth mcfarlane obviously aiden minx mila kunis tara strong Bretton manley joel McHale, amanda seyfried and morgan freeman are rumored to appear seth mcfarlane the creator and co-creator of popular television series family guy american dad and cleveland show has done a fantastic job in producing and co-writing Ted 2. Despite the fact that the first two parts of the film were a major success, it's still an issue as to whether there will be another part of the Ted saga released. What can we anticipate if there's another segment of the series? Let's see what happens. In 2012, McFarlane's first film, Ted, the original Ted, premiered. The film became a box office smash, grossing up to $615 million worldwide. That's pretty amazing for a movie like that. In 2015, the sequel was released and it earned approximately $216 million worldwide. Despite the fact that the second outing made a considerably larger profit, it was still a successful and outstanding achievement. The film was well, well received by a large audience and received excellent reviews. So, now that article was from October of 2021. Now, Here's an article that is a little bit more, it's closer to date. This one was from August of 2022. And this article is entitled, this is according to movieweb.com. And this one says, will Ted 3 ever happen? Seth MacFarlane has been one of Hollywood's most comedic performers for over two decades. He's known for creating shows like Family Guy, American Dad, and The Cleveland Show, not to mention more stand-up performances and hosting gigs than a person can keep track of. With characters like Peter and Stewie Griffin being household names since 1999, no matter where McFarlane goes, he's sure to get recognized by a fan who could pick out one of his voices or impressions a mile away. McFarlane has been on the air for well over 20 years, and though Family Guy may be his most popular project, his other shows and movies have become instant cult classics with his fan base. One such franchise that is among McFarlane's best is Ted, 
the film series about a teddy bear named Ted, voiced by McFarlane, that was brought to life by his best friend, John, played by Mark Wahlberg, when he was a kid and how the two of them are still together 25 years later. Some critics found the movies vulgar and childish, which to a degree they were, but that didn't stop McFarlane's loyal fans from lining up to watch. The sequel, Ted 2, came out only three years after the original premiered in 2012. So why has it taken so long for Ted 3 to come out? There have been some difficulties and criticisms that have followed the movie because the show takes the image of a cute childhood toy and presents you with unexpected F-bombs and toilet humor you wouldn't see in a kid's show. Critics and TV censors have been upset by it, but that's exactly why we love Ted. And now it looks like we'll be getting everything we want from the bear and more with McFarlane recently announcing that he will be turning the movie into a prequel series to premiere on NBC's streaming platform, Peacock. Fans can rejoice. The near decade wait for Ted 3 is finally over. So, I mean, you know what? There's a couple things in there I want to I wanna comment on. So, again, this is not necessarily to defend vulgarity and raunchiness. And, you know, it says right here, so because the show takes an image of a cute child with unexpected F-bombs and toilet humor you wouldn't see in a kid's show. Okay, well, we know that going into this, first of all, anybody who knows Seth MacFarlane, and I, I've kind of made this statement about, and I've talked about comedians on this show, and I've talked about entertainers, is that, first of all, anybody who knows MacFarlane, you know that his humor generally leans on the side of inappropriate, vulgar, raunchy, whatever you want to call it, in poor taste, indecent, you know, profane, just any word that you can use to describe humor that's not clean. And I'm pretty sure the evidence of that is within the cartoons that he created. Family Guy, American Dad, The Cleveland Show, those shows use dirty humor. Now, are there other cartoons out there that are far worse? Yes. I mean, you got South Park, you got Drawn Together, Brickleberry. I mean, there's so many other shows, so obviously these aren't the worst. Although they're not quite as tame and clean as that of like King of the Hill or The Simpsons. But, you know, the, the thing about it is is that when you're talking about Seth MacFarlane, I don't expect anything really clean to come out of him. So I wouldn't expect a child or a kid to be watching a movie like Ted. Now, yes, it, the main character in the movie, yes, is a teddy bear. And we know that that's kids, toddlers. I mean, they have teddy bears. I get that. But that's not what this movie was designed for. It, 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 the movie was rated R. Both movies were rated R for uh, strong language, general absurdity, uh, uh, pop culture references, political jokes, Sex jokes, some nudity, alcohol, drugs, that type of stuff. So, I mean, when you have all those things together in one picture, I mean, that kind of writes itself. So I'm, I don't know why these people are saying that like it's such a surprise. So I, I'm not really sure, uh, unless they just didn't know who Seth MacFarlane was or they don't know much about him other than he just created a few adult cartoons. So according to that last article, like I said, it, it's... We're, we should be hearing something if it's in the cards. Maybe we would see something by 2023. You know, I guess my thing is this. Now, again, this other article was saying that, yeah, that's going to be a, a TV show that's going to be a prequel to the first one that goes back to the 90s. Uh, but here's my ultimate prediction. And here's my theory that if there is to be a Ted 3 movie. I think what we're going to see is at least by maybe the spring or the summer of or maybe even the fall of 2023, they're probably going to reveal to us that there's going to be a release in 2024. I, I'm willing to wager probably by, again, the spring or summer of 2024. I think it'll be quite interesting because I thought the first two movies were funny. The first one was a little funnier. To those of you that happen to have not, if, in case you didn't see it, I'm sure n at least 99 0.9% of Seth MacFarlane fans have seen the movies, but just in case by any chance you didn't, I suggest checking them out. I think they're pretty good. We're going to see what happens with Ted 3.